Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna rebuild my network rack as it's become a bit of a disaster, as you could see on screen. I'm gonna still use that 25U StarTech rack, even though I have a full Ubiquiti 42U rack. What we're gonna do with that rack, we're gonna bring it to a client and set it up. It will look much better there. A couple things in this video, we're gonna be adding new, which will be the WAN switches, as well as two UDM Pro Maxes and one of the new XG24 PoE switches. So let's get started. All right, everybody, as you can see, this is my network rack and it's become a little bit of a mess after I've been taking gear out, putting new gear in for different videos. Um, on the top here, we have a U7 wall, which is just sitting there. I do have a stand, then we have the AI key. With the AI key, I don't have a shelf for it, so it's gonna have to sit somewhere on my rack. At the top right now, we have a UDM Pro, and obviously you can see there's no rack gears on that, so we're gonna be ripping that out and putting in two Pro Maxes. We won't be putting it into um, shadow mode right away. I'll be doing that for my 2025 video, but we'll also be adding the two WAN switches, which won't be configured yet either because I'm doing a separate video on those. Down below that, we have my EFG, which is gonna be coming out of the rack completely. I won't be doing anything with that right now. And then we have the patch panel. The patch panel is gonna stay how it is. Um, I am gonna re-terminate these ends eventually to the ubiquity end, so it's the silver, but I'm waiting for this uh, Fluke Link IQ tester before we do that. Below that, we have this brush panel, which we'll be putting in somewhere and then we have my aggregation pro switch and then we have a bunch of different blanks down below we have a unas and we also have a uh, umbr pro and the rps which will be all powered up and we will be putting rack gears on those these i'm not going to take out of my rack right now just because that's where they're sitting where i want them the first thing for us to do is to take all of this gear out and then start re-racking the new gear Okay, as you can see, we have everything that we need out of the rack currently, and we have some empty spaces up at the top. We're gonna end up doing WAN switch, then UDM Pro Max, WAN switch, UDM Pro Max, our uh, patch panel, and then our new switch, so let's get it mounted. For the new Pro XG24 PoE, it comes with rack rails, so we need to get that installed on the side of the switch. This is a fairly heavy switch, and it also has four fans within it. I have this network rack laid out pretty much how I want it to be. We have my two WAN switches, which we won't be powering on because that will be done in a separate video. Uh, we also have this Pro Max, the second one, which we won't be turning on either. When I do my 2025 build video, that's when we'll be turning this on and putting it into shadow mode. Underneath that, we have my patch panel. And with these keystones, this is connecting to wall outlets. That's for my access points, as well as a bunch of cameras and some other switches. And then we have this new switch, which is the USW Pro XG PoE, which does PoE++. It has 2.5 gig ports and it also has 10 gig and two 25 gig uplinks. The next switch is the USW Pro aggregation switch, which will be our distribution switch. And then I found this cable manager, which is by Ubiquity. I decided to bring my UNAS up and we're not using the rack studs for the UNAS as it's a bit heavier. The only thing that you can't see down at the bottom are these blank panels, my RPS and my UMBR. 
Now I need to get this all powered up and cabled up. It's now time for my favorite part, which is patching everything in. So these are the Ubiquiti. They are braided cables. I think they are ether lighting cables. I will put them in the description below. Now let's get it all attached. We have all of our ether lighting cables plugged in from our patch panel down to our new uh, Pro XG PoE switch. These last two cables are my internet lines. So this is a one gig by 40. This is a coax line. And then this is my fiber line, which does three gig by three gig. The next thing we need to do is connect these DAC cables. These are SAP 28 and they're capable of doing 25 gig. The Pro Max, it only does 10 gig, but this switch right here has a 25 gig. So I'll be plugging in 25 gig down to here and then from here, I'll be doing a 10 gig and everything else that has SFP connections will plug into the Pro aggregation. We're done with the install and all of the cabling. Everything is powered except the two WAN switches and the UDM Pro Max. The WAN switches will be a dedicated video. We'll be firing up the second UDM Pro Max when I do my 2025 build video, which will be a full config video. Since this is a new UDM Pro Max, we need to get it set up and restore from backup. You'll be able to see my phone over here and you can see that it's found a new device and we'll press set up. The next step, it's either gonna put in a new name if you're setting up as a brand new console or you could restore from backup. We had seen my Mac Telecom test backup and it was last backed up on May 8th, which is fine for me. I'm gonna select that and then press next. It will start downloading our backup and also restoring all of the applications that we had on our UDM Pro. I was running Unify Network and Unify Talk on there, so that should all back up perfectly fine. I'm super happy with how that rack turned out. I really like those braided ether lighting cables. Let's quickly take a look at my topology. And this is my topology for the new build. We have multiple WANs coming in, Rogers and Bell, going down to my one UDM Pro Max right now. This will look a lot different once I introduce that other Pro Max as well as the WAN switches. We have my two switches going down here, but this isn't exactly accurate. Um, now it actually switched to how it shows. So it goes down to my USW Pro aggregation and then everything else plugs into that. I do need to change my spanning tree priorities. Um, after that, we just have all of my other devices, cameras, access points, things of that nature. And we could also see that I have my phone G3 Touch Pro. I'm going to be doing a lot more on-site videos as I find people like those and that's my favorite to watch on YouTube. This coming Friday, we'll be installing eight U7 XGs as well as six AI 360s, so watch out for that. If you have any questions about my rack build, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.